Hi, I'm Dr. Otten with Cell Access. In today's blog, we're going to talk about turf toe. This is a debilitating injury that takes a long time to heal for many athletes out there. Turf toe typically comes from repetitive motions on hard surfaces, such as tennis courts, basketball courts, tracks, etc. Turf toe is a complex diagnosis. It involves the whole joint of what we call the MTP joint of the great toe, basically where the bunion lies. It's the biggest joint of the big toe. There's a massive structural complex of the MTP joint, the metatarsal phalangeal joint of the great toe. This involves ligaments, the capsule, bones, and tendons. Turf toe tends to be a compilation of small injuries from a repetitive trauma to that whole complex of the MTP joint. It's not just what commonly is known as flexor hallucis longus tendonitis. Turf toe is difficult to treat, and yet it's very easy to diagnose. Diagnosis is made through many different modalities. The best thing to diagnose turf toe is a physical exam in combination with something with imaging, such as musculoskeletal ultrasound or even an MRI. X-rays typically don't diagnose turf toe. The treatment of turf toe is long and arduous, and it takes forever to heal because you can never really be off your feet. One of the main problems with turf toe is the fact that you can't push off on your foot with that explosive motion because the great toe or the big toe hurts. Every time you push off, you stretch the capsule, the ligaments, and the tendons that help that toe contract and give you that explosive motion. Turf toe is often suffered by professional athletes. It's a debilitating injury that takes weeks or months to heal. The treatment of turf toe is long and arduous, as I said before. We can oftentimes brace or actually immobilize the foot in order to allow the structures to heal. Oftentimes, most physicians will do cortisone shots as well. The problem with cortisone shots and immobilizations is that it takes longer to recover because you're left weakened and you've lost muscle and strength. The second thing is cortisone. Cortisone is actually degrative or it degrades joints, tendons, and ligaments. So you don't want to do too many cortisone injections. This is why orthobiologic therapy or the utilization of PRP or mesenchymal stem cells has become very popular in professional athletes. Orthobiologics give you the ability to regenerate and heal the tissue naturally. This has been one of my favorite procedures to utilize in the setting of turf toe. The treatment of turf toe takes a long time to heal. The reason why is we have to utilize that joint and ligament and tendon every single step that we take every day. Oftentimes, we simply immobilize the joint or inject it with cortisone. The problem with this is you're not healing the tissue, and cortisone actually does the opposite. Cortisone actually helps degrade the tissue and ultimately makes that problem worse. Hence, there's been a big push in orthopedic and sports medicine to move away from cortisone. My preferred treatment for turf toe tends to be regenerative orthopedic procedures. This includes procedures such as platelet-rich plasma, or PRP, or the utilization of mesenchymal stem cells. With either of these two options, or a couple different other options to help regenerate the tissue, this problem can be fixed fast, quick, effectively, and near permanently. 